Right, all right, all right. Welcome to another Bump My Stumps World of Tanks console fail team series videos. Platooned up with the great Joe. We're in our awful waffles. We are on, oh, I don't know, we're on mines, I believe. And I don't play the awful waffle that often because I think it's just awful. It's just, I don't know. And maybe it's because I play it different. Um, I play it like the rest of the waffle line, like a sniper. Sit back. I don't, you know, some people push with them. And uh, I, I, I'm starting to learn that in World of Tanks, I think that because it's just a random chance roll of the dice, fuck it. Maybe you should just push out and run out and... See, my brain thinks more like a simulator. Conserve your health, conserve your armor, um, try not to just run out in front of tanks. And the more and more I watch videos of different different things like, um, you know, best replays on the PC and this and that, and, and I see these people just do stupid things and then, you know, shells bounce, bounce, bounce. You know, like a tank will just run right out in front of everyone and just bounce. I see people in this game sit right in the middle of a hill with a tank that people should be penning and they just bounce 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 you know, it takes twenty shots to kill a tank that should take six and it makes me wonder if that's how I should play stuff because playing like this tank everyone says this tank is so OP and it is to a point I mean any tank that can clip another tank you know six shells and the damage you know this thing does five hundred damage a shell but then you get games like this there's a good one six fifty bounce Bounce. 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 Now how can I bounce off the fucking cupola of that five times? He wasn't even moving. He wasn't shaking it. He what? How can this tank with this much penetration bounce off that cupola five times out of six? No, I think five times out of five. Because the first shot wasn't the Coppola shot. So it was five shots at the Coppola. Every one of them bounced. So, you know, then I'm like, eh. I don't think I've played. I think I've played my awful waffle. Um, maybe, let's see. I bet you I haven't played this darn tank. I bet you I'm going to go look at my, my uh, stats on it. I don't think I've played this tank 20 times. Because I, I just... To me, it's just not, it's not a good tank. There's nothing redeeming about it. Um, and you'll get more stuff like this. You see, I'm going to try to put one in there. Let's go for the cupola again. Oh, there. Nope. Nothing. And that one missed because he moved, so. And I'm about sick of it. You know, after I've wasted, you know, five, seven shells trying to shoot the cupola of that. And I know the E3 has a tough cupola. I know. But with the penetration this gun has, I think one out of seven should have gone. You know what I mean? At least one out of seven. Uh, but when 0 for 7, there's a little bit of a problem. And again, I know that I'm, I'm not playing the tank like a lot of people do. And in certain situations it can because you can just clip the hell out of people. But I've only played 24 games in this tank. I have a 38% win rate. Now, maybe that's because I sit back. How about this? E75, straight on. Nope. All right, let's go for the next shot. So this is one pen out of six, seven, eight, nine shots. One for nine. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little pissy, but this is the games that I get in it. And now I'm not saying, like I said, I know I'm not great at it. I know I'm not whatever, but when I can't penetrate with the amount of penetration this gun has, I can't penetrate an E75 facing me that isn't really angled or anything. We got issues. See, he's not really angled. He's angled downhill a little bit, but there we go. 547. Oh, and then we bounce. And then a 700. So, you know. When the gun penetrates, and then maybe I should play it up close. Maybe I should be playing it tighter because when it penetrates, it does some serious damage. You know, I have a 74% hit ratio in the tank. Um, in 24 games, I've destroyed 26 tanks, which isn't good. Nine victories out of 24 games. That's pretty pathetic. And I've survived eight games. So the games I'm able to pretty much survive and, and make it through 
I've got wins. But, uh, I, I don't know. I just, I don't like the tank whatsoever. I don't like the fact that it's got a house on the roof. I don't like the fact that you'll see another th shot here in a minute. Um, prototype, can we get that one from the side? Can we penetrate that from the side? Let's see. Let's see. Come on, reload. Come on, four minute reload. Right well, I got spotted, so I have to move. <laughs> Alright, let's back. Let's see if we can take him out. He's right out there, right? There we go. 4 1 gets him out of the game. So, you know, we've got four penetrations total now. So, yeah, maybe it's going to be a little bit better now, huh? Mouse, can I squeak one in there? Nope, hits the rock. Oh, Yag Tiger. Boom, 585. 568, and then guess what? Oh, now we're going to do track damage because if I'd hit him that one more time, it would have taken him out. So we got to have a track damage shot in there. And that's what I see a lot with, with this tank. It's like, you have six shells, but... You know, three of them are going to do either track damage or bounce. So really, you only have, unless you're up close and personal, playing it like a, you know, like a heavy tank, three out of six shots are going to penetrate. So when you when you take that in consideration, is it really OP? Really? Because, you know, a lot of tanks can do, I mean, with the amount of reload it takes, what's 40-something seconds, for 1,500 damage, I think that's... 15 to 1800 damage. I don't think that's too overpowered. Really? Almost a minute for 1500 damage? That's pretty pathetic. And people are going to say you're not playing it right, which I understand to a point. But you can't. I don't know. I just don't like the tank. How's that? Now, E4. Let's see if we can penetrate the cupola of the E4. Now you watch this. The difference between this and the, the E3. Of course, he is closer. He just sits there for some reason. 512, 566, 513 finishes him off. So, I mean, he just sat there and I just... Every one of them shots went true. Because he was close. So maybe that's the way you're supposed to play this tank. I don't know. Alright, here's one right there. E5. Just bounced off the E5, I guess. And missed. And missed that shot. And this is what I get all the time in this tank. Then the gun gets taken out, of course. You know, because that's what happens. <laughs> So we've got 10 penetrations, couple kills, and is it this tank is this bad? Is it I'm this bad at this tank? Or is this one of those games where my team couldn't do anything? Stuff like bouncing off the cupola eight times of a tank, not penetrating once out of eight shots, nine shots, one, one for nine. And I mean, I'm dead anyways. I know I'm dead, so... But I had 11 penetrations on, I don't know, maybe, probably... I must have thrown 20-something shots, correct? Had to be 20-something shots. Fired. We ended up with 2,400 XP with a multiplier. Um, 6,279 damage on 12 penetrations. Um, so, you know, you look at my, my team list there. Only one other tank had over a couple thousand. You look at the other team, 5, 2, 15, 2, 2, 16, 19, 2, 15. You know, they had 10 tanks or something to that effect. 8 to 10 tanks over 1,000 or whatever. My T-57 Heavy did 409. Yep. So that tells you the kind of team we had. One shot for 401 for the T-28 prototype. Took him out of the game. One shot for 60, 651 on that E3, but I fired, what, six shots at him? Seven shots, penetrated one. Three shots for 1591 to the E4, took him out of the game. FV215B at the end there, I put one shot into him. My last shell I had for 599, so that was a decent roll. It was all right. Yag Tiger, four shots for 1790. Of course, if... Four had actually penetrated, he would have been dead. Instead of one getting sucked into the track for some reason. And E75, two shots for 1247. So like I said, I know I don't play this tank very well. I know I'm not, you know, some great... I understand it, but look at the team. I mean, really, IS-7, 470 damage. Awful Waffle Jr. did 1300, so that's not so bad. E5, 700 damage. T-57 heavy, 400 damage. Another T-57 heavy, 400 damage. T-28 
two T fifty seven heavies on my team. Didn't even combine for eight hundred and didn't even combine for a thousand. I mean Conqueror two hundred and twenty five damage. Uh, Joe didn't have a very good dame because he went down the bottom down there and then no one went down there and then, you know, by the time he decided to pull up, everyone was dead on the team. Our T fifty seven heavies had both died and so now is this a bad team? When I put my failed team video out, is it really a bad team? Or is Team B just destined to lose because their shells won't penetrate? Their shells bounce. Their shells do track damage. And then the other team has eight players over 2,000. Well, eight players over 1,000 anyways. Probably five over 2,000. You know what I mean? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. This is why I don't play this tank. And, and, you know, I know that I'm not great at it. I know I'm not. But I don't like it. And I'm never good at tanks I don't like, so... As usual, comment, rate, subscribe. Remember, when you're on the battlefield, shoot the red ones.